Thank you and welcome uh, Ignacio. Uh, Ignacio is here today and uh, Ignacio has a bachelor's within business administration, a master's in financial economics, a PhD in finance and uh, part of his thesis that he wrote was within the area of social capital, within the areas more specified of trust. So welcome uh, Ignacio and I wanted to ask you what is social capital in its core, uh, would you say? I think better than give you a definition, I think I can give you some components of social capital and yeah. then probably you will, you will realize of what it is. Okay. So yeah. if I tell you that is like for example one of the components is interpersonal trust. So how much people trust each other right. in a society. Okay. Okay. It can be not necessarily a country, so it can be different areas of a country. It could be regions or yeah. Uh, because it changes from, from area to area, right? Right, right, yeah. Although it tends to certain levels tend to change with the, with the country, but then inside the country there is also variance. Okay, interesting. And then I can tell you that soci uh, the level of sociability of people. Sociability. In a, sociability, like how open mind, like open they are to talk to each other. Tolerant? Mm, no? Mm, okay. Well, that could be a part of it. That could be, <laughs> actually, mm. a lot of things can be a part of social capital. Mm. But sociability is more how social people are. Okay. How much they talk to each other, how much they enjoy like attending clubs. Like It can be measured, for example, by membership to certain clubs or st stuff like that. Okay, yeah. interesting. Altruism, the Altru level of altruism of the people in, oh. a, in a society. Yeah. So it's a kind of like generosity to say it, to say it somehow. So. Well, would you say that, for instance, um, social welfare is a form of altruism? Like we, uh, Sweden, Scandinavia is a pretty social uh, state, you know? Is that a sign of altruism? And then we have other countries that, that are very... Ex yeah, exactly. Uh, that, exactly. Could, that could be one of the reasons yeah. behind why Nordic countries have more, uh, so have that kind of social, more social. Uh, but, but at the same time, you said sociability. But here in, in Scandinavia, people aren't that like exactly. open-minded. You know, people aren't that. I know, but open open-mindedness is something else. Yeah, but talkative, it's, it's, like people are pretty like. Uh, uh, exactly, you and know? that is one of the one of the problems yeah. with the uh, with the Nordic societies. Yeah. So, Nordic countries like yeah. Sweden, yeah. Norway, yeah. they have huge, very, very high levels of trust. Yeah, much higher trust than especially Catholic countries. Really? So for, yeah. For yeah. example, Spain, Italy, France. Yeah. The level of trust is pretty low. But then you move to Germany, yeah. and the level of trust, the average Incre trust, increases. Increases. Yeah. But here comes the surprise. Yeah. Move to Austria. Yeah. Goes down again. Oh really? It's Catholic. Really? Oh. It's correlated to religion. To really? Protestantism, Catholicism. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. it's really peculiar. Interesting. So, but uh, according to research, is there any like definition you guys have come up with, or there are there many? Yeah, um, I found this one that I like it. Um, yeah. In sociology, social capital is the expected collective or economic benefits derived from the preferential treatment and cooperation between individuals and groups. So, it's like what the like the underlying traits, behavioral traits, that you find in a network, in a social network. So it's like unhidden, it's, it's like hidden, hidden rules. Yeah. It's like, I trust, I trust my neighbor, yeah. and I don't exactly know why. Yeah. And I have no problems about uh, lending him this, or yeah. without a contract, or whatever, yeah. because I, and everybody tends to be, although of course there are variations in, in trust, some people might trust the network more than others, but in general, societies tend to be pretty homogeneous yeah. about, about the level of trust. Right, yes. yeah, yeah. You can also have trust of the government, for yeah. example, mm -hmm. how much people trust of the government, uh, yeah. trust the government, yeah. and that is also would be an, another component of yeah. social capital. But uh, now I'm thinking more of interpersonal trust. So okay. how much do you trust your neighbor? Uh, just to summarize that, uh, but it can be on a macro level, like a nation, Completely. it can be a region, a group of people, a company, a family. Um, mm, mm, mm. Ish. If, yeah. if you are starting to be, it's more, we are talking about society, yeah. social capital. Yeah. If you are starting to think more about a family or a group of people, then, then it's not the idea. Okay. Then you're getting, okay. uh, getting away from it. Okay. Then you would be kind of entering into human capital somehow. Okay, okay. Yeah. Human capital, I guess, is m more of a micro form than social capital. Social capital is, is more macro. So human capital is more like a commodity, right? Oh. It's like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like how much 
this person is worth. Is worth <laughs> exactly. And of course, it, it is also related to social capital in the sense that uh, maybe you would like to have in a company people that trust more other employees and yeah. this, this stuff. Yeah. So it can, it can be influenced by, human cap by, by social capital, but yeah. it is not the same as social capital. Uh, I'm not gonna, we're not going to enter human capital that much, but it's a really interesting area how, like, eventually, because, I mean, that's why people study, for instance, take a degree. To build human capital. To build their own human capital. Mm. You know, they want to be worth more mm. in the market. Uh, that's why people, like, work out to be maybe, like, mm. more attractive for a partner and stuff mm. like that. So it's really interesting. Yeah, for example, that's the thing. You don't need to build your social capital. If you have high human capital. No, 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 no. It's like social capital is inherited. Right, okay. okay. It can be built up in societies, but it takes a long time. It does, yeah. yeah. So it's something that you are, basically you are born with it in the sense that you grow up with it in the society that you are, you are <laughs> like. Human capital, you build it up. Right, that was my next question. Uh, how is social capital developed by an environment? Oof. Um, That's complicated, but let's try to summarize it a, a bit. takes a long time. It For does. example, more equalitarian soci societies yeah. tend to make, uh, to build higher trust, interpersonal right. trust. Yeah. Um, but the amount of time that you would need in order for that to develop yeah. is a uh, long, it's very, It is, very long. it is. So, but trust, for example, interpersonal trust has been related to economic development in right. several papers. Yeah, yeah, okay. And at the end of the day, mm, when you think about it, it makes sense. Imagine that you have to make um, a deal with, I don't know, um, a supplier. Yeah. And the, the fella is asking you like, okay, I'm gonna send you this, and then if he doesn't trust you, he will require much more thorough contracts, much more thorough. He will not send you the goods until he's completely certain that you are not going to screw him, yeah. and so on. Yeah. So in a, in a society with more trust, things are going, are, are going, are going much smoother. Much smoother, for instance, yeah. because you're from Spain originally, mm. is there a difference? I bet you lived in Norway for quite some years. 18 years. 18 years. Do you see any difference between the social capital in Norway and Spain? Yes, absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, in Spain, you, you usually are very skeptical towards the people that you don't know. Right, okay. So I wouldn't trust much, like leaving my telephone on the uh, somewhere yeah. that, I don't know you guys, for example. Yeah. I wouldn't leave my, t I mean, we are three people here, it's no problem. But if yeah. we were in a month in a group of people and yeah. 20, 25, and I don't know, I only know one, yeah. I wouldn't leave my telephone somewhere and uh, no. forget about it. And no. in Norway, you can do it. You can. Yes. Yeah. And Why is that? Why is that? I think it's interpersonal trust. Uh, people trust more each other. Partially, but shouldn't that, I think that derives from the fact that a lot of people are economically stable. So everybody has the same phone, everybody at the party. Yeah, but I Isn't think it? in Spain okay. yeah. it would also be the same. No. I'm, I'm, I have in mind more like a group of people like with similar, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just probably nothing happens if yeah. you there, but I wouldn't. No, That's no, the thing. absolutely. And uh, the other difference is sociability. Yeah. The level of sociability is much higher in Spain than, than in Norway. Right. Yes. Yeah. And that, uh, that would explain a lot of stuff. For example, the level of trust in uh, in countries with low levels of trust in general so differences in the in the in interpersonal trust actually have an impact on the amount of stock that people buy oh, really yeah they say it has an impact on the stock market no, it has an impact on how many how much transactions what percentage of your of your uh, wealth of your personal is wealth put in stocks is put on stocks right exactly so if let's suppose that you live in a region in an area with more trust uh, than the average in Spain yeah. and then you trust more for whatever reason, you trust the information that people are giving you, hey, I invested in these stocks and blah, blah, and yeah. blah, okay. So these variations, trust variations, more trust implies that people are more willing to invest their money in stocks. Okay. That in Norway or in Sweden has no impact. No. Because the, the level of trust is very high and then deviations of trust don't have that impact on the stock holding, yeah. on what percentage of your wealth you are investing on stocks. Okay. But then, here it comes at rescue, sociability. Okay, yeah. So it is actually the high levels of like deviations of sociability, so more sociable 
people yeah. tend to invest more of their fraction of their wealth okay. in stocks. Okay. Yeah. Probably because they heard of like, hey, I invested my stocks and blah, blah. Oh, really? Oh, yes. And how did you do that? And blah, 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 blah. Mm, mm. And that, that has an impact. Sociability does not have an impact in Spain for a stock holding. No. Because everybody, is, everybody talks about everything. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you see how, how it works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, an interesting aspect of it was that the, you said that uh, social capital derives a lot uh, from trust and homogeneity, that people are on the same page, kind of. Uh, equalitarian societies. Right. I wanted to ask you, for instance, in Sweden, how do you think it has an impact? Uh, a couple of years ago, we had a, a refugee crisis, right? Mm -hmm. And Sweden took a lo in a lot of refugees. How do you think, have any research said like how that might change, you know, because there's different cultures now who are going to live together and we need to synchronize, synergize that type of communication, uh, sociability, mm. uh, trust, Yeah. All, you know? I, I don't know if that has been researched. Um, I think might get into politically incorrect research, so one should be careful there. Well, but my what's there to be careful? Like, we, can we speak my, about my reality? In, my intuition would be that maybe it doesn't have an impact if what we are building is societies that are not, um, so are not properly integrated, yeah. which I think that is kind of what, is, what happens, right? What's Everybody tends to be together with their own. With the people that you know, you, that you know, yeah. right? So although people are integrated somehow in a society, but still, you relate to the ones that that you that speak you know, the same to language. Your people, exactly. yeah, to your people. And um, then I would think that what we will have is two different social capitals, right? One for Swedish, the other one for the immigrants from uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then maybe with time, when, when the society merges, yeah, yeah. then maybe it gets somewhere in the middle. Right. Because people talk about how diversity can be a good thing too, you know, but I guess mm. it just needs to be integrated correctly. Yeah. But, okay, you, you, there's no research on that. so I don't know. You, we don't know. I don't know, but I, I never heard of it. I never heard okay, of it. Okay, because it must research. be a very interesting, uh, interesting topic to research on. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, the last question I wanted to, to ask you is how social c capital can contribute to better business practice. For instance, um, an interesting point which I truly believe in is that I think something that uh, prevents uh, business and just the society in Sweden and Norway is that people aren't that social with each other. And I think we're losing out on maybe a lot of good opportunities and stuff. Yeah. What do you think can contribute to the business practices in Norway through social capital? How can we get better at it? Um, I don't think that you can do much about it. Social capital is the way it is. So okay. you cannot alter the level of social capital. You could take certain measures, like yeah. trying to build a more equalitarian society, but although Norway is pretty equalitarian already. It's, Scandinavia is like the uh, most. Exactly. So, and, but even if you could, let's suppose that you took certain measures and because we're going to improve our social capital. Now all strangers have to talk to each other <laughs> consistently. Let's suppose that you force people to be social somehow. Yeah. You find a mechanism <laughs> yeah. or you just give them antidepressives that they make them talk a lot because <laughs> one of the side effects of a lot of antidepressives is that you become very extra. Yeah. Oh, really? So let's suppose that you drag everybody, yeah. but still to build social capital, it would take decades. Yeah. So it's not so much you can do, it's the way it is. That makes kind of sense because like I was a, a year ago, I was traveling in a part of Eastern Europe and I could tell that there was still like, you know, the Soviet Union ended like a lot, mm. a lot of years ago, but I could still kind of tell how there was not a lot of service mindedness in like some of the hotels yeah. I could tell kind of this like I don't know uh, you know it hasn't changed that much maybe and it's yeah. because it takes so long it to change long, the long. collective mentality of nations yes. and such. Yes it is it is very difficult yeah so you could and also you would need very I would say very good politicians because okay. who is who is going to take measures of something yeah. that he will not see the, the fruits of. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, who, who would do it? Yeah. No, yeah. No, no politician nowadays. No. We don't have, we don't have that kind of, those kind of leaders anymore. No. Like, no. okay, I love my country and I am going to do this for my country. And I don't care if uh, in eight years, like they kick me out of my presidency and nobody, nobody realizes what I did. Right. Because they will realize in 40 years. Yeah. We don't have those people anymore. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, okay, well, uh, just to conclude a little bit for those who watch this video, what we can walk away with is that a lot of within social capital is about trust, trust within a society, and also sociability, altruism. And I think that we in Scandinavia can really learn from uh, the sociability aspect. I think maybe we're losing out on the fact that we're kind of we don't talk to strangers that much and maybe mm. we have a lot to learn from Spain concerning that and other countries who are better in that. Um, Definitely, but very difficult to change. Yeah, very difficult to change, but everybody can do their part. So, yeah, uh, sure. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for coming today, Ignacio. And, uh, You're welcome. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Nice.